Hello guys, welcome back to another another video. Today we are gonna look into the alphabet Y, whether it's a vowel or a consonant. Want to know clearly? Watch till the end of the video. Firstly, we need to know the most basic element. I know that it is the most familiar topic to to everyone. Yes. The English alphabet is just a brushing up for the basic level learners. Let's see its definition. Alphabet. It is a sequence of letters arranged in a specific order that are used for reading and writing a language. As everyone knows, it consists of 26 letters each having an upper and a lower case. Upper means the capital form and the lower means the small letters. Approximately, there are almost 3,800 languages on earth that use an alphabet. Let's see some examples of languages that uses an alphabet. One is Cyrillic alphabet used in Russian and Slavic languages. Next, Greek alphabet, Arabic alphabet, Hebrew alphabet, and also the Vangari alphabet. As many of us know that the Vangari alphabet is used in Indian languages. And do you know which language has the smallest number of alphabet? This is for your kind information. It is Rotogus. It consists of only 12 letters. It is spoken mainly in Bougainvillea Island in Papua New Guinea. It's a new knowledge. Yes. After knowing the letters, we must know what letters are vowels and what are consonants. There are main five vowels A, E, I, O, and U are the main vowels. And also, there is a special vowel. That is Y. How comes Y a special vowel? That we will discuss later. And other than A, E, I, O, U, other alphabets are consonants. That is B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. These letters are consonants. Let's see some examples of words having vowels and consonants. One, cat. It has a vowel as well as a consonant. You know that C and T are consonants and A is a vowel in that word. Next, let's see an example of egg. E is a vowel and other two letters are consonants. Next, ink. I is a vowel and N and K are consonants. Next word, hot. H and T both are consonants, whereas O is a vowel. Next, fun. F and N are consonants, and U is a yes, vowel. Next, we can see why Y becomes a special vowel. There are 
two circumstances we can use why as a verb. First one, when there is no other vowel in a word, like example, Jim. In this word, there is no vowel, but the letter Y is there. It pronounced like a sound is there. J -a -m, Jim. So it is a vowel. It comes under a special vowel. Similarly, the next one fly. Here also Y is a special vowel. Next, cry. The same usage of Y and it comes under the special vowel category. Next, the second reason is when Y is at the end of a word, it becomes a vowel too. We take an example of happy. Happy. That Y it pronounced like long E sound. So it will be a vowel. Taking more examples like sorry sounds like a vowel. E sound sorry E. Next candy. The same system follows. All this comes under all this Y comes under the special vowel category. Next we can see when Y comes as a consonant. Mostly the letter Y comes consonant when it's at the beginning of the word. For example, when we use U, Y O U. The sound is Y yeah, sound is there. So it comes under the consonant part. Next is yellow. Y yeah sound, same thing. And the other one, youth, same, family. And also yard. All these, its beginning letter is Y and the sound is Y yeah sound. So it comes under the category as a consonant letter. Now I hope all are clear about the usages of Y as a vowel and as a consonant. If any doubt, don't hesitate to comment below. Please like and share.